Huh? Give me the rules real quick. Bro, back the f up, yo! <laughs> yo, yeah. you wanna get punched or what? I don't see this point, I can care less. <laughs> the boys like the PR vid. And I was wrecking, you know, I... I, I well, you was wrecking? Perhaps, consequentially. I mean, I was, I was, I was looking. They said they enjoyed the video. I said, okay, well, the boys, the, this is a typical thing. If their people know me, they get what they ask for, right? I'm a man of the people. You know, they say, hey, uh, You're the man for the people. I, I'm the man. I'm the man for the people. That's why I said. You didn't say. You, that. If you could keep interrupting, interrupting me, you could leave. Well, That's why I thought, dipshit. I leave. This video is done. If you leave, you're getting punched. So you just told him to leave and then said if I leave, yeah, you're getting punched. because I wanted to punch you. They said they enjoyed the PRs. I said, okay. You get another one. You, you want more, you could get a couple more. <laughs> what do you got to say to the boys? Because you look like you're about to take a nap. Well, honestly. No, 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 you look like you're going to take a nap. That just ran through my head, but, you know, that's what we got the orange cream sickle for. Boys, orange cream sickle. I just popped it in my left pocket. No, oh, you had, yours, you, had, you had yours ready already? Got mine loaded up. <laughs> you know, I had this yesterday. I pulled some good weight and I said, okay, how about I give it another shot? Bro, <laughs> I have a blanket in the back if you want to go sleep. I would really like that. I would do, would do. That would be a good time for the AC to stop working. You want me to turn off the fucking AC, motherfucker? I thought you enjoy it. You look like you're about to cry. Have a rough day today. <laughs> well, guess what? We're at the fucking game. You can stop with that fucking attitude. We have PR set for the boys. Yeah. You're being a straight up pie hole. I'm sick of that shit. Cause I'm really disappointed right now. You're just being an absolute cocksucker. <laughs> Bro, Bro, you have all this energy right now. Bro, I always have energy when I'm around the boys. I'm literally recording this video because there's thousands of people watching this right now. And you're being sleepy. Oh my gosh, I'm fired up. I don't know how they expect you to get this scooper back in there. I don't expect you how to get in there trying to hit a PR when you're acting like that, cocksucker. Oh, I see it. You're itching. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm fired up, Bob. Really, Bob? You know, I look at it, and when we're recording, this shit got us. And, there's, and I'm, I'm on that bench, and I'm hitting a PR. I see thousands of people fucking watching me. And it's on a small little device called a camera. And I reckon I record myself. I post it, and, um... I just, yeah, I just hope the boys get fired up! They, they count up. Down! I'm not up. Save the day! <laughs> Puff of four! Amigo! Hasta luego! You gotta be a little, little mental, I think, to do what I did. I, I, I don't want to like sound crazy, but you have to be a little fucked up. The fucking mindset of like getting up every day and pushing yourself. And you're eating 12 to 16 ounces of meat, and, you know, 100 to 150 grams of carbs every meal, and you're doing that seven times, and you do it day in, day out. You gotta have a very simple mindset. You know, you can't be social. You can't be out doing a lot of other activities. So you put on the blinders and you have tunnel vision on what that ultimate goal is. I was always on track with everything. I mean, I, everything was structured. I lived in a box in order to be the best. I Meaning, I had no outside. People would call me with their problems. I hang up on. Like the phones were, were off. Don't bother me with negative shit. And I just went at it. Like that's all I cared about. Like, that was what my life was like. There was it was like go full fucking throttle every day. That discipline was there. I always tell everyone it wasn't about the body, it was about the mind at first. But I trained my ass off. For me, I just love to train. Like that's that's what separated me from like most guys. There was times where I almost passed out training. I'm lunging with you know 225 on my back in the parking lot, and I remember just like, okay, no one else is doing this, so I'm gonna do it. And that was my mindset. That was how I like mind fucked everybody else. So I used to train in the middle of the night because no one else was doing it. And so people were like, man, is that the secret? Is that what Jay has to do? Is that what we have to do? And I did it almost to kind of like play mind games with the other guys. Only the crazy people saw this time. Cardio time.
but I was also a beast. I was known as a, a so-called mass monster. I was also stubborn as hell, right? I, I, I just, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was told I wouldn't be a good pro. I was told I'd never turn pro, never win the Olympia, never win it more than once. After I lost it, they said that I'd come back and win it again. So I think a lot of that's a little ego too. I mean, you have to have a little ego to be able to do what I do and be great at it. You gotta do what's your passion, otherwise you're never gonna succeed at it, you're never gonna stay with it, you're never gonna commit to it, and you're never gonna give your full ab ab ability towards that goal. I'll, I'll say this without arrogance. Jake Cutler's the greatest body blur of all time. I never had a lot of self-doubt. You know, people look at his arrogance, and, and I'm just so confident that maybe sometimes I come off as that, but um, I've been knocked out enough times and, and came back from it that I just I just never gave up, and I always believed in myself. And I mean, I was so disciplined, man. There was no bodybuilder on this fucking planet that was more disciplined than I was at that time. And I felt like a fucking machine, man. I everything just clicked. Like I told you, I could do anything. I went in the gym and I trained with light weights. I trained with heavy weights. It didn't matter what I did. Everything just clicks. Ronnie's been here winning the show for the past uh, how many years, Ronnie? Six. Six years. But this is my town, my home, my place. Uh, it takes a lot of time, but I'm dedicated. And I was just so young and just, um, I was so, you know, naive. I really didn't know much about anything. I really didn't know how to pose. I really didn't know anything, but I had the physique. I had the structure. And once I learned how to eat um, and learned how to, you know, train properly, and, you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be the best. My dad just, you know, my dad was a pusher, man. I hated my dad a lot of times early in my life because he would just make me work. About to crash out. I'm telling you. Go, right please now. don't crash out. Please don't crash out. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys, if we, can, if we can be serious for a second, this was just the, let's just say the warm up for what's coming on Friday. Squishy! Maybe! Maybe!